What's going on my fellow jewelers? So we're making these gorgeous earrings today. I love the red and the gold. I'm making them for a craft fair that I'm doing for Christmas and I just thought these were the perfect Christmas colors. And so I'm like, come along with me as I make some jewelry for the craft fair and I teach you how to do it as well. So let's get started right now. So I've already made my 100 milliliters of epoxy resin, the, the two part, right? Uh, one and one ratio. And so I just wanted divide it up. I'm going to do a pretty even amount for both of them. Um, I want to do about 50, 50, maybe like 45, 45, but I can't be too picky. So I'm just going to see. Um, so I want about even for those two. So I'm going to do a little bit in here for the gold. So I'm just dividing it up, um, in three ways. So these look really good. They're about half and half. And then I got a little bit, I might need a little bit more. I need a little bit more for the gold. I don't need much of the gold at all. Um, oh, that's good. That's really good. And then I'm gonna look, those look even, and then we're gonna color them. And so we're coloring them with, um, I'm doing this really wine red, it's really pretty. I didn't want like this bright Santa Claus red. I wanted more like a deeper, richer red. So this wine red looks pretty good. And then the other one we're doing clear with some foil flakes in it. So I'm just gonna color my resin. So the first one I wanna do is, I want to do the red. So I think I need a lot more. Oh, that's a lot. I want a lot of mica powder. I think it's going to look really pretty. So I'm just going to stir it up and then do the color test. And so I want it really a deep, deep, rich red. I think it's going to be really pretty. Ooh, <laughs> I'm getting excited. So I'm going to check the color. I'm going to have it drip off. I don't want any transparency when it comes to this color when it's on the earring. And so I'm gonna make it a really rich, rich color. Oh yeah, oh, 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 that's a lot. Now we're gonna get um, the, the foil going. Ooh, it's gonna be so pretty. Okay, and I'm just going to pull uh, sheet by sheet. I don't want the sheets put together. I want them um, separate. So if there's a clump of sheets together, I want to pull them apart because I want to really mix it up. So there's, um, there's a good amount and it breaks up when, when it's look at like, this is a big old chunk and there's sheet after sheet after sheet when it's all together and you don't separate it outside the resin, then it gets really clumpy and I don't want clumps. I want really beautiful, small pieces. I'm going to put those in there, mix it up a little bit. And I just want to break it up. I really want to break it up because I really want tiny little chunks. In order to do that, you kind of you kind of got to make some bubbles and stuff. So I just want it to be broken up really well. I don't want any big chunks. That would be really bad. Okay, the next one, the littlest uh, amount of resin is going to get this gold because it's just the highlight. It's just going to be the highlight for this particular um, piece. Like, I don't want it transparent. I want it really vibrant. And so I want to make sure that I get enough in there to make it vibrant and make it really shine. So what we're going to do is, <laughs> I don't really know because usually in the video, they take two cups and they pour it. I don't really like that message. I just method. I feel like it just runs out really quickly. We're going to try it out. I want to do half. I want to do exactly half down the middle of my teardrop and I want to do half down the middle and stuff. Let's do this guy. Yeah, I don't want, I want, put them down the middle, put them around the edge. Okay, it's staying, it's staying. So let's go to the clear. And get some clear in there, get some, yes. And I want a lot more uh, gold than that. I want a lot more gold. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So I saw this done on a coaster video. I watch coaster videos to, for inspiration for um, resin jewelry because I just feel like there's not enough good videos out there um, to really inspire me for the jewelry part. So I watched a lot of coaster videos and I saw this. I am going to, I'm gonna dip this baby in there and I'm going to make like streaks. And so I'm gonna clean it, dip it again make some streaks, dip it again. <gasps> it looked a lot better in the video. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I am going to pour 
all all of my um, the the foil the clear and foil and the red and I'm gonna pour and then I'll go back and do the sun rays kind of thing you know the gold the gold the gold and swirl it because it's just too liquidy right now to kind of stay where I swirled it and stuff and so I'm gonna go I'm gonna do fast forward for you guys and I'm gonna do um, half on all on all these pieces and then I'm gonna go back and we'll we'll see if it kind of um, cured a little bit like it's a little bit harder so that um, we can we can do the whole the whole thing and stuff I really want to make a sun rays like raise 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 with the gold and then kind of swirl it just a little bit maybe not swirl it we'll see I mean it is really pretty right now I like I really really love this design I'm really excited about it but we will see if it works or not okay so silicone tool and then I'm going to dip it like so and then make a raise I'm gonna clean it off and make a raise clean it off it's a lot of cleaning off it's a lot of cleaning off raise, raise, raise. and then dip it and then swirl just a little bit I think that worked a lot better than that one because it's a little bit more cured it's a little bit more dried so I mean correcting my dryedness. I know it's cured, but I like dried better. I feel I can explain that a little bit better. So dried. So it's curing really well. Um, we're just going to do raise, wipe off, and then raise. That was maybe a little bit too many rays. We'll see. And then wipe off and then raise. Oh, that's looking good. I should not dry it off. I should just let it be really thick on there, huh? <gasps> and then we're going to do a little bit of swirl. <gasps> Look at, oh my word. These are turning out amazing. Okay, I'm so excited. So you know how to do it now. We're going to fast forward and then we'll get to the next step. Ooh. my word these have turned out so fabulous i'm i'm interested to see how they're going to spread because they're not going to fully dry or cure until 24 hours so they they have movement they're going to move they're going to do things i wish they would stop right now but they're not going to until all right 24 hours later and let's deep mold these beauties it's so funny because this is the one that i did first and i didn't wait to pour all of them and it just really spread but when i poured all of these and then I did the gold, right? Like I weighed and then I did the gold. Um, these did really well in staying with the swirl that I wanted. It's so good to note that uh, to pour first and then do your gold design and the swirl. I mean, I perfect tip of the day, wait, just be patient. <laughs> okay, I actually want, these look the prettiest to me. So I want to demold them and see the other side. Look at this, oh, so pretty. I love the clear, I love the clear. It's not really as pretty on the other side. This is just a one-sider. <laughs> Sometimes it's really beautiful on both sides, but I think we're gonna see a pattern where it's just one side. Let's demold this one. Yep, that looks, look at that. Compared to that, it looks so ugly, but you only need one side, right? Not a big deal. Okay, and then I got these little guys. The little guys were a little bit harder to be more precise. They might just be pendants, we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't look so pretty on the other side. That's so funny. It looks gorgeous on one side, which, you know, for a pendant, you only need one side. For an earring, it's a little different, but it's just interesting, interesting, interesting. It just looks good on one side. Okay, so I'm gonna demold these and fast forward, and then we'll get to the next step. That took a lot, oh my gosh, but they're really beautiful. I mean, I really just like the one side. I'm not really fond of the other side, but that's okay. I mean, one side is good. I mean, I feel like that's a win. Let's just make one of these into earrings. So we are gonna take, I have a really big, I have a big jump ring. I get these jump rings at Walmart and they come in a pack of three, uh, small, medium, large. They don't tell me the size, that's all I know. So I got a nice, decent size jump ring. I'm going to close it up like so i'm going to open it and then close it up if you've never dealt with a jump ring i do have a tutorial for that as well i try to make tutorials that solve your jewelry problems you know what i'm saying jewelry questions um and then here's the part that people ask about um i 
I like two jumper rings um, because I like the way they face, but people don't know, you guys don't sometimes ask me, which way do you face your earring? And so this is the front, let's say, I want this to be front. You have to face your earring um, away from it. It's not gonna be in the same direction as it, right? You're not gonna do the same direction. You're gonna do away. So we're gonna put it on there like so, and I'm facing it in the opposite direction. It doesn't look like it, but it, it, it will, it will. You gotta, gotta kinda know how they like to fall when you're putting it on. That, my fellow jewelers, how you make these gorgeous, fun earrings. I, I can't even just imagine all the color combinations you can have with these, but I love the red and the gold. They just pop and they're so perfect together. All right, end of my video, and that means I love to pray for you. I love to pray for my viewers. The Lord really dropped in my spirit that a storm is coming, like a storm for whether our society, whether our culture, whether our nation, whether the world, I don't know, a storm is coming for our society, right? And he just wants you to be prepared. Like, like he started to kind of um, point things out, like, like that extra money that you may have gotten in the bank, put it away for savings. Like, like prepare for the future, he was saying. And there's things the Lord's been telling you to do that you haven't been doing. And it's for the future, right? There's things that he's going to um, want you to do for the future and to start planning for it. Can I just give you an example? So in my life, the Lord's told me to write a book. And so I did. Nothing really happened. Yay, I did for you, Lord. And it's really great testimony for my kids and in our life. But then this year, he's like, I want you to revise your book. I wrote like, it's like 400 pages. Oh my gosh. I know, right? I want you to break it into two and I want you to take out a hundred pages. And I'm like, uh, you know, I'm kind of done with the whole book thing. God, I'm kind of done, but he's been really on me. He's like, prepare for the future, prepare for the future. And so there's things the Lord has put in your heart that he wants you to prepare the future for, like whether it's write a book, whether it's start saving money. I really feel like some, I really feel we need to start saving money. I don't know. That's really strong in me. Um, there's other things he's been telling you to do to start preparing for things that's about to happen and stuff in your life. So Lord, um, um, I thank you, Lord, that not only do you know the future and you see the storms coming, but you want to prepare us. Lord, help us to prepare for the future. Help us to put aside the extra money that we may have earned or someone may gave us or whatever. And we, we put it to a side. May we be faithful to put it to the side. For those that you've called to do something, whether write a book or whether like, um, I don't know, like there's certain things, God, you've asked each one of us to do. Pop it back in our minds and may we be obedient to it, God, because you're trying to prepare us for some storms that are about to happen that we're going to need not only for ourselves, but also for others, God. So God, I pray that we would be obedient now for when the storm comes that we'll be more prepared in Jesus name. Amen. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Gosh, I really loved that. I really, really loved um, that earring. I had so much fun and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.